everybody! And welcome to Sandals Royal Plantation here at Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Sandals has invited us to come down and stay a few nights here at the Royal Plantation to show you guys what it's all about to come to Sandals. For today, we want to show you our room tour. Yes, and by room, we actually mean suite. Yes, every room in Royal Plantation is a suite. Every room is an ocean view, and every room is also butler suite. So the room we're gonna show you today is a category LR, Royal Monarch Oceanfront Butler Suite. Easy short name is Royal Monarch. We are here in the west wing of the resort. There's two wings, it's very mm -hmm. easy to navigate this resort. We're in the west wing on the second floor, room 260. So come along, we'll show you our room and show you the digs and why don't you see what it's like to stay here at Sandals Royal Plantation. All right, so we come down the outer hallway there from the main lobby area, turn and find room 260. Check out the like uh, painted little doorway here, door frame with the louvered sides, very nice. And then here in the middle, an exceedingly loud door knocker. Someone's you... home. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe your room key right there to enter, open the door, and come on in. Come on in. So right when we come in, we'll take a look back at the door here. What else is new? Any kind of accommodations are going to post emergency information. There's no smoking. You're going to have a people to look outside and see who's here. You're going to have your hanger. Please do not disturb. And you have this lock, and you have a swing lock as well. Not that you need it because it's really safe and nice here. Light switch right on your left when you come in. That is for the entry light up above there on the ceiling. And then some nice art. So then on the other side, the left side of the entry here, you can enter the bathroom slash closet area. So we'll turn to the left. You see this is a walk-in closet with a full open and shut door. So you can walk in here. You do have the light up above, shelf up top, Shelf up top, shelf here with extra pillows, blankets, and towels. Shelf here that has a safe that is quite large. Definitely fit multiple laptops in there. Maybe even a desktop if you tried. A hair dryer in the bag there. And then a little leaf tray. Maybe if you want to use that in the tub or something like that. Another full shelf down below. There is a scale. There is a luggage rack. There is an ironing board with iron put together there. And then your hanging rack with all your hangers, laundry bag there in case you need that taken care of. And then the PS de resistance, robes for each of you and slippers. slippers. Now, I want to point out the lights, which is behind the other bathroom door here. So for the closet, it's actually the one that's furthest away from the closet. <laughs> All the way on the right, that's your light switch there. The one in the middle is for inside the toilet, tub, and shower area. And then the one on the far left is here at the vanity. So let's go ahead and turn around and take a look at said vanity. So down below, we have a nice little rug you can stand on, trash can. We do have a GFI outlet here. Towels, of course, hand towels to dry your hands, tissue, and in this era of COVID-19, some antiseptic hand sanitizer and fresh wipes. This room is a single vanity, so important to note, there are a lot of rooms here, a lot of suites, we should say, that mm -hmm. are double vanity. This one is single. But we gave up the double vanity for something special we're gonna show you in just a moment. That's right. Yeah. Coming back to the single vanity though. Soap on the dish, do have our glasses, with our coasters, another little hand towel rack there, an electric shaver plug, makeup mirror, which I don't believe is lighted. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Okay, there's a knob, but it doesn't do anything. And then down below, you have your tray with all of your accoutrement for showering, taking care of yourself, pampering, and it's all courtesy of the Red Lane Spa. Yeah, this is where the good stuff is at. Okay, so you get shampoo, body lotion, body wash, conditioner, bath salts, both of these are bath salts, a French milled soap, 
sewing kit, shower cap, makeup remover pads, cotton swabs, and Q-tips. Wow. Now, I, I highly recommend, I mean, everyone's different, has their different preferences. I do not think you need to bring like extra shampoo or conditioner or body wash because this Red Lane brand, which is the spa brand, the um, the spa at this resort, and all Seattle's resort is called Red Lane Spa, um, and this is their products, smells so good. That's what we've been using this whole time and we absolutely love them, um, and they'll refresh them every day. One last part with the bathroom here, past the vanity, through the door, because this does open and close off to this portion as well. We'll come in here, we have our toilet, sanitary bags, toilet paper, towels, wash rags up top. The light, of course, I showed you where the switch was for that. And we'll turn, and we have a nice window there, but it's kind of like privacy glass, you can't really see through it, but you can hear outside pretty well. So when the frogs start chirping at night or something like that, you'll be able to hear it. But down below, the compromise Chelsea mentioned earlier. Jacuzzi tub! That's right, big Roman tub, jacuzzi jets inside there. You can have a little handle thing. So I guess the majority of the rooms on this property that have the double vanities don't have the jacuzzi tub or you would have to go up to a certain level to get both, but when you're down at um, other categories, it's kind of one or the other. And one last thing in the bathroom area here is this ginormous walk-in shower. Be sure to watch your step. That is a large step up there. But you do have a towel rack inside, a handle, help keep yourself safe. Of course, the faucet to turn the water on and off. Shower heads up above, and there's a little shower caddy type deal there. Put soap or whatever in. And you can also place it on the windowsill here with the bottles. There is no light in the shower itself, so it will always be about that dark. All right, let's see the rest of the room now. So coming from the bathroom, real quick before we get into the rest of the room, I wanted to point out this switch here. This knob controls the speed of that ceiling fan up above the bed, and this light switch controls the wall sconce lights. That's what I'm calling them. I don't know if that's technically what they are. Anywho, let's continue on in. First thing, we have a full-length mirror here mounted to the wall. Very nice and handy, as well as a nice bench. Good size, too. Could definitely both of you sit there, put your shoes on. Coming in and turning this way, we do have our giant writing desk, nice chair, and there's actually three drawers here you can pull out and put these inside of. And at this point, and again, the COVID-19 era, they have some little informational visual things here that tell you all about their extra cleaning, extra sanitizing. Turning next to the desk, we do have some art up on the wall, and then we have what appears to be like a blanket rack. We do have uh, dressers on either side of the bed. They are exactly the same. Two small drawers at the top, three larger drawers down below, and then a lamp on the top. This particular dresser has the phone, stationary. Uh, Butler Elite with this little pack, it's gonna have your room keys and tell you a little bit more information about the resort and Butler service in the room. And then your in-room dining menu. So, because every room here is a butler suite, 24 hour room service. Yes, free room service, completely included. And let's go ahead and show you really, really quickly here what exactly is on the menu. One last thing to mention here, you'll see this red smartphone. That is for the butler. That's the hotline to the butler. Yes, yeah, so you can use it to call your butler. You're gonna have two butlers. Um, for every room and you can use it to call them if you need something they will help you with anything and they'll also call you and remind you when you have certain things in your schedule coming up or something like that just to check in and see how you're doing it is mobile so you can take it with you if you're out on the beach you can call them from there just keep in mind that it is a hundred and fifty dollar fee if you lose or damage this so definitely treat it with care if you are going to take it outside of the room it is not waterproof so continuing on we do see our very very large king size bed here with the mahogany four post framed situation. See, they've done some nice, lovely decoration here. And then on the other side, we have another dresser that's exactly the same as on 
the opposite side uh, has the same lamp as well, but this side does not have all the phones and things. It does have this alarm clock, which is uh, compatible with an iPod, if you still have one of those, an iPhone or an iPad with the lightning charger though. You can also plug in a USB here on the top. Now across from the bed, of course, we have our television. Not the biggest in the world. It is inside this little hutch here. Did want to point out though that this does slide out just like that and it does pivot, pivot just a bit there. So watch your telly at night. Now, does it have like attachments where you can put in like an HDMI or? Yes, it does. And so then we have your remote for the television right there. That's the large black one. And then this little white one is actually the remote for the air con. There's actually one right there. And then there's another one in this section of the room. I'll show you in just a minute. And this will control both of them. And it works good. <laughs> it will too get good. cold. We have had the air here. off the whole time. And then one last thing with the TV hutch is that you do have three large drawers down below. If you want to put some clothes away or store some items in there. And then this is just kind of an open space. There's some nice art on the wall, but a nice open space. Maybe if you wanted to put a suitcase or move your chairs around or something like that. But I do want to point out that there's an outlet right there with two plugs in it. All right, one last section of the room here is kind of just like your dining bar view area. So we'll head through there. Wanted to point out quickly that there is this bucket here. Of course, you could fill with ice and have champagne, wine. I don't know. We don't something we're not privy to all that but there's something large you want to be chilled you can put it in the bucket you can put it in the bucket now we do come inside here we see our mini bar area and up above is that air con that i mentioned earlier right there did want to point out the light switch is for that light right there pretty obvious as well as another plug back here oh and the lamps in there those just turn on at the actual lamp right below the shade so no switches for those. But now we have the rest of the mini bar area. You can see you have coffee and sugars and creamer and all that jazz, wine glasses. There were some uh, like larger standard like drinking glasses and then smaller like juice glasses here. Uh, we used those and they didn't replace them yet. Uh, here's a coffee maker, a Mr. Coffee. Here you have your ice bucket. So the butler or the uh, room attendant will fill that with ice for you. You have some bottled water, some coasters, napkins, drink stirs, and then down below, your refrigerator fully stocked. We, upon arrival, they had it stocked with beer, waters, um, large, like full, full bottles of Coke, which is really cool, I think. Some um, juices. Juices, things like that. They'll even put like little surprise snacks in there for yeah. you. Like there's something in there right now. We actually don't even know what that is, so. Yeah, the butler will kind of just like bring like little snacks for you just to make it a nice surprise. And also too, if you let your butler know what your drink preferences are, they will make sure that that's stocked with that every day. One last thing to point out in this area, there's a trash can down below. Oh, I, and actually I lied. There's one more thing, this cool little shelf thing with this like water pitcher that has a plug. I think that's what it is, a water purifying pitcher. We're not sure, we haven't used it. I'm not sure, maybe if you wanna make tea, maybe that you can heat up water for tea with that. Maybe. I'm not sure, we're, we're you may know what that is, but we don't. So if you know what that is, leave it in the comments. We're kind of curious. On the other side of this little area, we do have our dining table and two chairs, some more art, of course, and two more wall lights, which are controlled by this switch right here. Another uh, spinning wheel is for this ceiling fan up above the sitting area. So down below, we have these two very comfortable chairs and the little table in between them. A nice sitting, very comfortable, get to look out through the glass doors. Some suites at this resort have full on balconies. A lot of them do not. They have this, what they call the French balcony. So let's show you what that is here. As you can see, there's two sliding glass doors. You can see floor to ceiling, almost, not quite ceiling, but they go up pretty high. And then you come out and you have this little rail. So there's actually no balcony to to step out on. That's why they call it a French balcony. But I kind of like it because you still get the open air and the breeze and everything like that. But you can kind of get like some nicer like 
sitting furniture next to the open air because it's inside. So like you couldn't have these kind of chairs out on your balcony because it wouldn't hold up to the weather, but you can have it in here where it's enclosed. One last thing to point out with the French balcony, of course, if you do want privacy, these clothes, they lock and you have thick blackout curtains. You cannot see through it all or just the simple day shears. If you would prefer that, bring those to a close. But then you come out, peek your head out. And as we mentioned, every suite here, in addition to being a suite, in addition to being butler service, every one of them is ocean front slash ocean view. And a beautiful view of the resort. I, I don't know how you could ask for a better view. No, I love this. This is wonderful. A couple other real quick odds and ends to this part of the room is down below that light switch, there is another outlet. Next to the mini bar, you do see this door here. That's like an adjoining door that goes to the next room. I don't even know if you can do that anymore because it looks very old, but that's what it is. Everything in here is kind of like an actual hardwood, not like a hotel kind of wood. Um, so it's kind of cool because this resort does kind of have a little bit of an old history. So it's cool that they kind of kept that. Simultaneously, there is a bit of a trade off. Anytime you have hardwood or like real furniture, you're going to get little, you know, scuffs and scratches and dings and and whatnot so point being if you want a because i'll tell you this room is spotless but oh, if yes. you want a pristine brand new modern looking room consider another resort all right guys that is going to wrap up our tour of our room we really have loved everything really no complaints absolutely so if you're interested in seeing more of what we got into or you want to get an idea for the resort itself be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the Santa's Royal Plantation playlist as we will have that full resort tour video as well as our daily vlogs showing you everything that you can do here at Santa's Royal Plantation. And hey, if you're interested in coming and checking it out for yourself, we can do that as travel agents. We'd love to make that happen for you. And our services are always complimentary. So we hope we'll hear from you reaching out via that travel agent information once again at the end of the video. Thank you for joining us for today's tour. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you'll check out the rest of the Sandals Royal Plantation playlist. But until next time, we're going to sign off. Happy, Happy travels! travels.